In diplomatic speak, this was the ultimate show of respect from newly elected President Barack Obama. Cheers. His first state dinner hosted Cheers. for the Indian Prime Minister. They promised a new push that would help both countries' economies. It's had lopsided results. The U.S. is exporting about five billion more since 2009, but India has done much better, increasing its exports to the United States by an additional $20 billion, leading the U.S. to file multiple complaints at the World Trade Organization. U.S. experts believe Modi could help level the playing field. The BJP platform that they campaigned on across the entire country spoke about the need to open up foreign direct investment in all sectors where it could be helpful to India. Modi. But for that to happen, Modi will likely need to be able to visit the United States, something right now he cannot do. His visa was revoked in 2005. At that time, the State Department said his inability to stop the riots that left more than 1,000 people dead, mostly Muslims, meant he was no longer welcome. The State Department has been coy about what will happen now. No individual automatically qualifies for a U.S. visa. Uh, U.S. law exempts foreign government officials, uh, individuals including heads of state and heads of government from certain uh, for, for certain potential and admissibility grounds. I'm not going to get into any greater level of detail. But Rao Melpori, a BJP supporter in the United States, says he's been lobbying to get Modi's travel ban lifted. Modi was singled out because a lot of people have problem with Modi's nationalism. There is a clear-cut uh, philosophical difference because BJP believes in nationalism. He says he's been told, as a head of state, Modi will be able to travel to the U.S. as the Obama administration looks to reboot what at the beginning of the president's first term looked much more promising than it's turned out to be. Patty Colhane, Al Jazeera, Washington.